So, Babu, you're a bit older than I am. Have you ever had shingles? I'm not that much older, first of all. I, no, I haven't had shingles yet. So I drew the short straw a couple years ago and got shingles in my 30s and had this really painful rash on the back of my head. And when you're older and you get the shingles, it tends to be even worse than that. But there's this new study out about shingles that's pretty exciting. Yeah, and basically what it it was looking at was whether or not the shingles vaccine could lower the risk of dementia. And the reason why they looked at it, there is this theory out there that the cause of dementia might in part relate to the virus that causes shingles and early in childhood causes uh, chickenpox. The problem is studying that question is really hard because you need a lot of people, maybe you know tens of thousands of people, who you randomize to get the vaccine and not get the vaccine, and then follow them over many years and that is a really hard thing to do. So these guys came up with this really clever way to get at this question. Yeah, the idea was that they took advantage of what you and I talk about all the time, which is a natural experiment. And that's where patients get randomized towards going down one path or another, not because a researcher tells them to, but just by accident. In Wales, about 10 years ago, they said that anybody born after a certain date in 1933 was eligible for the shingles vaccine and anyone born before that date was not eligible for the shingles vaccine. And since those people are all roughly the same age, that line in the sand randomized them to either getting the shingles vaccine or not. These authors estimate that uh, getting the vaccine by chance reduced the risk of dementia by about 20 percent. And they had these few different mechanisms that they look at. But I think the ones where they think there might be some headway is, one, the vaccine itself just has some immune effect, right? When you get a vaccine, it stimulates the immune system in this robust way, and that immune response might protect against uh, dementia. And the second relates to the actual virus itself. If the virus in a reactivated form helps cause dementia, then preventing reactivation might reduce uh, the risk of uh, dementia. So those are the two mechanisms that they found some evidence for, still not completely clear, but you know, really interesting work. And, you know, we already knew that the shingles vaccine helps reduce the risk of shingles, which is really unpleasant. And now there's this potentially added benefit of protecting against dementia. What's a shame is that there's huge numbers of people who are, you know, eligible and meet criteria to get the shingles vaccine yet they don't. So it seems like now there's even more reason to go get a shingles vaccine if, if you're due. 